All right, so I'm sitting here with our new discovery, Jacob Peterson, and we're gonna have a natural conversation in nature. You ready? Yes. Okay, now, um, my first question to you is the obvious question that everybody wants to know. What drew you to porn? Why are you here? Um, well, I can tell you how I got into it. Yeah, um, well, I wanna know why you got into it. I wanna know what your motivation is. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm still thinking about it. Uh -huh. But um, one of my photographers happened to be a scout for some A site, and he was taking pictures of me and asked, asked me if I was interested. I was like, "Okay, let's do it." Yeah, I like to try things. So this Everything. is like an adventure. Yeah, a curiosity. It's more for fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a um, healthy state of mind um, when dealing with the. <laughs> all that and see what works out for you. Um, so then you got your start with your photographer and then you worked for a site and then yeah. you, that site took you to, to this opportunity? Yes. So where did we discover you? Um, I believe it was Chatterbait. Okay. What, um, how does that all work? Chatterbait, it's a webcam business. Basically, you just it's the same thing except you do it alone. So then you're, are you making money? Um, yeah. So, so that you, with money. your own webcam, you sort of log into the site and then people pay to watch you? Yeah, if you, they're interested. If they're interested. <laughs> so what kind of shows do you give them? Uh, it's basically, it's mostly come shows, mm -hmm. um, ask some toy play, and if I ever have a friend who wants to join me, I'll um, invite them over and we'll do a duo. Oh, cool. That makes more money. Yeah, I would imagine it would. So it's not too different than this, it's except mean, except for all the lights and people around. The lights and the <laughs> people are just distracting. Yeah, we do that. It's okay. It's fun. <laughs> so what turns you on then? In life. <laughs> yeah. In life. Um, well, I'm still 21. I haven't figured it out yet, but I do enjoy some fisting movies. Yeah. Do you That's like just watching them, or do you actually play? Uh, I think I'd be a little too scared to uh, actually do it. Uh -huh. Either way, bottom or top, but, you know, I'm down to try whatever. Probably the top. Probably the top Heart. would be safe first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For now, it's just, I don't know, I just really like ass, I guess. Yeah? Yes. It's good to know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> Always helps. Cool. Uh, and then... Um, in guys, what are you attracted to? Like, qualities, looks? Mm, well, for personal... Um, you know, it, it really doesn't matter at this point. Mm. Um, but you don't have a, something that you just... Like a type that you generally are attracted well, to? I like gingers. You like gingers? <laughs> we all like gingers. I love gingers. <laughs> um, but for dating, personality definitely is a thing. Mm. Um, it's got to be a little adventurous because I do like the outdoors. You like the outdoors? Yes. Oh. Um, so like our power is not on right now. Some people have problems pooping outside. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't, so I was fine. Okay, well good. We know who to hire the next time we have an outdoor shoot. Alright. Maybe a camping movie. I love camping. <laughs> Nobody else does. Because we live in Arizona. Yeah. So, um, my next question is, what, what did you, what was it like shooting your first studio shoot? Um, you know, coming from a more amateur environment to this professional, what, what was different? What was it like? Well, it was a lot different. <laughs> I don't control, you know, the angles or whatever as if, as if I was on my own cam. Yeah. Um, like I said before, everybody there is there to help you. Um, you got a director, you got a camera. It's In a way, it's kind of easier because then you don't have to think. You just do what you were You're you not told. directing yourself. Yeah. And obviously, you don't have to, like, because on the webcam business, you got to, you know, talk to your members and your viewers. Interact. Yeah. There's not much interacting there because there's no audience there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, we, we have a request from home office. You must speak up. 
Okay. <laughs> Project your voice. I am trying so hard. I know. Dude, it's from in here. This is my outside voice. It's from in here. It's right. from in here. All right. Um, were you nervous on your first studio shoot because you'd never done it before? Uh, I would say I was more excited. I'm yeah. just like a puppy right now. Everything's so new and I'm just <laughs> stoked about everything. Um, obviously there's a little bit of nervousness, but it, it was overcast by my excitement. Yeah, more excited than nervous. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, I want to know a little bit about yourself outside of porn. Um, you said your age, you can say it again. You know, who are you? Where are you from? What are your interests in life? Um, well, I am 21 years old. I live in Arizona. Um, I moved to the United States when I was 10 from Russia. So if you hear a little bit of a different accent, that's where it's from. I hear it. Should have been gone by now, but I guess it likes I to like stay. I like it. <laughs> I think it's cute. I have been working really hard to get rid of it. Why? So I can blend in sometimes. Oh. Is that important? It's not important, but it's it's it helps mm -hmm. in some situations where people don't question where you're from, um, and then they ask you to speak Russian. Oh. <laughs> And it's usually bad words. <laughs> um, I enjoy hiking, camping. Uh, I do a little bit of photography, mostly portraits, um, because landscape got boring. <laughs> because I don't get to travel very often. All I get is um, the desert landscape. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else there is. That's a lot. Just really outdoorsy, I guess. What do you like about portraits? Portraits? Yeah. Um, well, landscapes can get boring, as I said before, because it's all the same as trees and grass. Unless okay. you get creative, you can get creative. Mm -hmm. uh, portraits, it's people, and every person is different. Even the same person you can have, like, with the same picture, just different lighting, you can get a whole different portrait, um, or a whole different feel. I don't know, it's more intricate mm -hmm. than a tree to me. Because if there's like a little... If I'm taking a picture of somebody and they and they have a little um, twitch in the face, it changes everything. Yeah. So, you were talking a little bit about your photography and I actually seen your Instagram profile and I think that you take very beautiful photos there. Um, do you have a background, any training in photography or is it just something that you picked up on your own? Um, I've always been interested in a camera, uh, whether it be a video camera or a uh, photography camera or DSLR. And I started off with film. I would, I would um, film my little sister and do some musicals at home. And then, <laughs> and then I got older, maybe like 12, and I was, I was asking my parents for a camera that would satisfy me and it was a little too expensive, so they bought me a DSLR, it was a Nikon D something, I forgot. Um, just because it was cheaper, I got into photography. Mm -hmm. Have you taken any classes, or are you just kind of figuring it out? Well, I was, I was taking pictures until I graduated, then I went to a community college in Arizona, mm -hmm. and there I took a, um, a Photoshop class, it wasn't a photography class, which mm -hmm. helped a lot. Mm -hmm. and sparked my interest even, even more. So, I can create a lot of cool stuff in Photoshop. Even though I know it's cheating, but nobody has to know. <laughs> I don't think Photoshop is cheating. I think that it's a creative media. And um, the world's changing, you know. The art is changing. That's what I felt like, because I took, it was part of the, part of the Photoshop class first semester, or first half of the semester, it was just like saying, uh, it was just film and everything and working in the dark room and developing everything yourself and then yes you can understand the you know <laughs> basics right yeah and then we got into photoshop and everybody got excited in, in my class and the professor was like well this is kind of technically cheating because he was an older well yeah professor. to him because yeah. if you're learning how to develop film in so a that's, dark room that's oh my god you almost need a time machine that's where I got my uh, I feel guilty doing this feeling I, I don't think you should. It's like eating pie. You can't put something in a photograph. You can you can alter a photograph, 
but you can't make a photograph great with Photoshop. You can only yeah, fine tune enhance. things and yeah. enhance things and maybe add something in the corner that wasn't there and create it an illusion. Yeah. But you can't you can't make it from nothing. So you have to have some talent. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> that's my opinion. Um, okay, well, cool. So then you were talking a little bit about your um, you like being outdoors. You're an outdoors person. I didn't know that about you. So that's that's interesting. Do you like having sex outdoors? I mean, like with no cameras, you're just camping, you're with somebody hot. Do you like fucking around outdoors? I have had, it, it is fun, but the most of the experience I've had was with people who don't like to be outdoors. Uh-oh. And a couple of times it was around families. You know how camping grounds are not isolated always. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a different movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then you've never really had a great experience. Huh? It was, it was fun for me, except I knew that the other guy wasn't so much into it. Pick better partners, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Opposites attract, is what they say. So, um, I want to know a little bit about your opinion on fame and notoriety. I mean. You now, you made the choice to work for one of the most well-known uh, gay porn studios in the world. Certainly one of the oldest, you know, Falcon. And um, we're going to get you a lot of attention. So, I don't know, you probably thought about this. Attention's fun. So, <laughs> yeah. So you I behave. Well, I don't know. I mean, some people get a lot of attention by not behaving. But, um... Do you have any feelings about fame and notoriety? Obviously, some might be coming your way after this. Have you thought about that? How your life might change? Um, I don't know that it'll change all that much. Are you prepared if it does? I mean, what happens just, if you, all of a sudden, overnight, people all over the world want to buy your movies and want to tweet with you and Say you go to the store and you're recognized by a gay boy and lo who loves your movies. I mean, have you thought about that? Um, not really. I don't know. I don't think I'd really change all that much. Mm -hmm. Like we talked before, my dad told me to speak up. I never. Sp <laughs> it still hasn't happened. So I don't change all that much. Um, I have had some an old man come up to me <laughs> at a. It was a. I was shopping at the mall, and uh -huh. he's like, Jacob, you look, you know, you look taller in person. It's like, thank you. So you have been recognized already. Just once. That was pretty exciting. <laughs> so you, you didn't mind it? Not really. I was with my roommate at the time, and he got really confused because he didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> now he does, and he does videos with me sometimes, but before, that's how I had to break it to him. Well, do you have an opinion about fame in general? Um, fame, um, I don't know if you want to elaborate on that question. Well, what I mean is, um, you know, a lot of the models that come to us, I mean, some of them are motivated primarily by money, but most of the models are uh, att attracting some kind of attention to them for a reason. And um, some models, literally, I think, are seeking some kind of fame, you know, mm -hmm. to, to have fans. That, that is, I mean, if you have fans, then you are famous on some level. Um, and I just thought, have you given it much thought? Do you have an opinion about famous people in general? Do you follow any famous people? Do you admire um, any famous people? I actually don't follow, <laughs> I don't follow famous people because um, I don't know them. Mm -hmm. And follow basically my fans I'll follow them back and then I'll get to know them mm -hmm. and I know I'll never get to know anybody who's got I don't know like 30,000 followers you never know like I never funny. know but you know that's what I feel like so do you think uh, fame is overrated and you're not very much interested in any of that it, I mean, it's for me it doesn't matter I mean I guess for some people it does you're not impressed by it's any all, of that well, I know people have different needs. No, but <laughs> we're talking about you. Yeah. You know, we're talking about what know. you think and what you feel. Yeah. For me, I don't really need it all. Mm -hmm. um, I do enjoy it. It's fun. I like uh, 
you know, I like seeing people be interested in whatever I do. Mm -hmm. And now that I'll be creating work for them, it's many followers. That's nice. So, um, social media seems to be something that you're familiar with. You're using Instagram. Have you been exposed to any negative comments through social media yet? And if you have, like, how do you deal with that? Um, not, it's nothing on Twitter or my Instagram because obviously everybody who follows you, um, are, wouldn't be mean to you. Well, on Twitter they might. I guess I've had I haven't. It happen. I haven't had it yet, but I I have not on Twitter. I've had it. Some people me email me blogs about, um, like I don't know, it's queer me now or something like that. Uh -huh. um, and you re did you read somebody, the comments? I didn't read it. I heard what they said from whoever texted it to me. Mm -hmm. um, I was a little upset, but yeah. you know, it's it's only a small percentage of people who think so. Mm -hmm. The rest obviously don't, or was they keep the, it to themselves. Was that the first time that you had to experience like, I was, being exposed to um, negativity like that? Uh, yeah, that was my first and only time that I know of. <laughs> so then I just, you know. So you were upset at first? I, I honestly, I was upset, and then, I mean, it was kind of, um, what's it called? Cr cruel? Not cruel. No. Uh, I forgot the word for it. Mm -hmm. Constructive criticism. Oh, um, well, that's not that's a little like, different. But it was coming from an older, uh, older audience, mm -hmm. um, and they were a little mean because you know how older people might be grumpy sometimes. <laughs> I think <laughs> a little more younger grumpy. people can be grumpy too. They're <laughs> grumpy in a different way, which is I can deal with because it's mostly just they give you attitude. So they're cunty. Uh, but old men, old men are. If they're mean, if they're mad at you, they're mad at you. Oh, I don't know. For whatever reason. So you were getting constructive criticism? Uh, that's how I took it. Uh-huh. I decided to take it that way, rather so, than just them bashing at me. So do you think that you're prepared? Because obviously you're taking a bigger leap now. You're opening yourself up more to the public. So this is probably going to happen more and more now. Do you think that it kind of prepared you for uh, what's to come? Yeah, I think from now on I'll just... I'll either ignore it or if it's something useful, I'll be like, okay, yeah, you know, I can work on that. And I already know things I can work on um, without them meaning, having to say anything. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, let's stop being so goddamn serious and let's, <laughs> let's um, switch it up a bit. How about describing yourself in using three adjectives, three words? I hate it that don't you hate this? That was like the first day in high school always. Or even, actually even freshman year in college. Well, let's not think about your high school self. Let's think <laughs> about your adult self. If we could learn about you and you would describe yourself in three adjectives, what would they be? Um, can we get back to that one? <laughs> well, we're almost done. Ugh, all right. I've got one. All right. Quiet. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> You're very quiet, <laughs> very soft-spoken. Um, I guess peaceful. Um, easygoing, open-minded. That's three. That's awesome. Those are three great ones. Um, here's the last question before we get to the final round. If money was no object in your life, okay, and you could do or um, have or achieve anything you wanted that would make you happy, what do you think that would be right now? <sighs> Just stay busy. I don't like being bored. Yeah. Whatever keeps me busy will... What we'll would keep it. you busy if you had unlimited resources? How, how would you utilize those resources? Um, well, my mom has been talking about going to Africa and building a house. She's a real estate investor, so she's serious about going to Africa and opening up a hospital, a charity hospital. So I'd probably help her with that. That's lovely. Uh, <laughs> That's I wouldn't good. take a vacation or anything because if I'm, obviously if I'm doing what I like, when I have unlimited resources, it's basically a vacation already. And sitting around doing nothing is not my thing. Yeah, so you already keep busy. You don't need money to be happy. But if you had it, I'm just saying, you know, it could be a platform and it's just an interesting thought. Being a photographer, well, do you feel like you want to photograph different, I mean, you said you get bored. <laughs> so I would think being a photographer, would you want to see different places in the world and photograph different places in the world? Uh, I don't know about places. I'd probably 
I honestly, I think I'll just, if I had unlimited resources, I would try just about anything in the world there is to do. Um, photography, you know, real investing, mm -hmm. building, construct, construction, and all that stuff. Like I said, just anything to keep me busy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, landscaping. Landscaping. So. <laughs> We're at the uh, end of our interview, and it's been fun getting to know you. You're a very sweet spirit. It's very nice talking to you, very calming. Um, and at the end of every interview, we do what we call rapid fire questions. Oh. It's five uh, questions. You don't think too much about the response. It's just the first thing that comes to your head because usually that's the most honest answer. Ooh, okay. Yeah? <laughs> so don't overthink it and ready? Okay. Here we go. Sex is. Pleasant. <laughs> Fame is. Um, exciting. Um, happiness is. Relaxing. In ten years, I will be. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> the most important thing in life is. Family. Good to know you. Ah, uh, what? Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hug. Thank you. All right. Awesome. One. Jacob Peterson. Here he is.